Hey Virgo Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Let me drink some water y'all. My throat is a little parched and it's irritated. Mm. I'm sorry y'all. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. I hope y'all are doing amazing. We are off to a late start. Forgive me for that, but we're going to take a look at the week. Your messages for the week, okay? Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip the rows if you need to. Could be past, present, or future energy or someone else around you. I'm picking up on. We're going to do some shadow messages, y'all. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What is this? What the fuck? I don't even know what that says. Okay. I don't know. Let's see. Let's get a shadow message for Virgo, please, Spirit. Just one. Thank you. We have treacherous. Mm, treacherous shadow somebody is a snake huh keeping i'm sorry keeps big secrets and likely to betray trust untrustworthy no loyalty and dishonesty y'all know what i heard this is so crazy before i started your reading I, I meant to say this i was hearing um that song by erica badu clever right i'm clever when i bust a rhyme clever always on your mind now that's funny because this snake energy is giving me aquarius Somebody could be on Aquarius Pisces cusp because Erica is a Pisces. But that song gives me the um, the seven of swords. Very clever, right? And that's the snake. It's a sneaky energy. <clears throat> it's a fake friend. It's somebody that is a thief. It's somebody spying on you. It says, be aware that what's done in the dark will come to the light. Is this risk worth taking? So there's somebody that's not loyal, not trustworthy. They are snake and it could be an Aquarius or it could be a Pisces. That is your sister sign. So let's see. Why did I pull that? I mean, why did I hear that song? I haven't heard that song since the 90s. Clever, when I bust around, somebody could be a rapper or really got the gift of gab, really convincing the way they talk. Because, you know, they call rap. I mean, you know, hip hop is rap music, and y'all know rap used to be a slang for talking, having to get the gift of gab, being a smooth talker. Let me rap to you a taste. That's what the people just say. I just saw two, two, two. We have butterfly rebirth. You can reinvent yourself. Open to the rewards of change, and you have brilliance to share with the world. Love every part of your journey. So you're going through a period of transition, transformation, shedding old skin. Now, I feel like, I mean, this could be you with this treacherous energy that you're shedding. Because you know snakes do shed their skin. So it could be that. Or some of you, you're just evolving. You're ending something. This is a death and rebirth card, okay? That's the death card. Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with the Scorpio or an Aquarius. Or have those placements in your chart. Let's see. We in the bus of She's clever. She said, and I really want to grow, but how come we're the last to know? Now grow, rebirth. I don't know. I don't know why I heard that song, but I heard it so clearly. We have mommy issues. Somebody has mommy issues, abusive, neglectful, emotionally unstable mother, abandonment wounds, or childhood trauma. So that's what's wrong with this person. And it could be you. It doesn't have to be someone else. Okay. Somebody could be on a Virgo Libra cusp or have Taurus or Libra in their um, energy. Capricorn as well could be um, significant for some reason. We have revolving door in and out of your life. Inconsistent, coming and going, multiple lovers in rotation. Some of you, this is a player and this is why they are this way. Because of the fact that they have mommy issues. Could be a Sagittarius. Hmm. But that's somebody here who's a cheater. They're a player. We have hiding behind their money. Okay, so they could have money. Materialistic, bribery, extortion, and blackmail. This person might be used to getting women because they have money. This person keeps a burner phone. Incognito, prank call, decoy, or second line. So yeah, this person's definitely very sneaky. Whoever they are, they're a cheater. I don't know why so much about relationships be coming out. I don't do these readings to be about relationships, but that's what keeps happening. Show me this person with mommy issues. What's going on with them? Ace of Swords. You're starting to see this. You're starting to recognize this about this person. Ace of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Energy. This is an aha moment. An epiphany is going off 
you're breaking free. Look how she's breaking free from that chain. Right? This is a breakthrough. This is truth. We have the four of wands. Some of you are married to this person. Or you live with them. Could be an Aries. Okay, well, let's see. Or are they married to someone else? Did you find out they were married to someone else? Because this is a cheater. Yeah, you, you might have found out they were married to someone else. Or if you're married to them, you found out they were dating other people. This could also talk about the community that they were brought up in. Their household, their family. What mommy issues here. Show me more. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus energy. I feel like Spirit put you on this person's path to course correct, right? What they're supposed to be doing is realizing that what they've been through has not, you know, what, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. They're supposed to be learning lessons here. They're supposed to be getting the point. Of why they have been through something. This wheel of fortune is spirit stepping in here. And this person needing to go with the flow. Learn their lessons and keep it moving right. Accept what is. But this person is struggling. I feel like it has something to do with their childhood. With this four of wands being here. It's their family dynamic. It's been really chaotic. The wheel of fortune although it's upright. And it means good karma. A soulmate. Something meant to be. Fate. Destiny. Good luck good fortune the winning streak it means a lot of positive things but it also you see those clouds it's it's topsy-turvy you know seasons change is what i call this card so this person is still stuck on their, their childhood season of their life they may try to hide this from you but i feel like in divine timing because this is divine timing spirit is showing you what's wrong with this person it could be in this reading right now Show me the revolving door. Why do they keep so many lovers? What's wrong with them? The hangman, they don't know what they want. They need to take time to themselves and actually reflect and use their intuition, okay? Pisces energy, again, Erica is a Pisces. It's your sister's sign. We have the Eight of Cups Pisces again. This person's... um. They have abandonment issues. The hangman is abandonment issues. And the eight of cups is abandonment issues as well. So this person tends to hold on to people. They never really close out cycles with people that they deal with. They walk away, but they come back. They change their mind. Some of you are born on the 1st, the 4th, the 10th, the 12th, the 8th. Okay, something about eight months could be significant. One week could be significant. Something could be happening over the next week. Okay, I'm not going to take those. So we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. I feel like your perspective on this person is changing here. You're starting to realize that this person, they jump in and out of relationships. Because it's funny, the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Swords. Eights are unemotional um, in numerology. This is why they are walking away from the emotions. It's when logic starts to kick in, right? But this Eight of Swords in reverse can talk about somebody who is moving to new relationships, getting new perspectives, right? That's what I feel like they do. This revolving door. They walk away and they could even come back to that same person or they go off to somebody else they already dealt with or they move into a whole new relationship. Because that's what the Eight of Swords is in reverse. A new perspective. Both of these cards are a new perspective. They walk away from people, then they miss them. And it's really really not that they miss them. This could even be what they do to you. It's more missing the attention that they get. They get bored with one person. They run back to the other person or other people. What's hiding behind their money? The Nine of Wands, Sagittarius Energy with the Fool, Aquarius Energy, and the King of Wands. So this person could be very attractive. They could be a boss. King of Wands is a visionary. This is a person who thinks ahead. This is a person who's impulsive, okay? Confident, goes for what they want, takes the lead, takes charge, leads by example, and they're definitely very impulsive and fearless and a go-getter, right? With the fool being here. But this is maybe a person who doesn't think too much before they act. They could be motivated by sex, for sure. 
and they used to being able to get it because they're really good looking whoever they are they're fun but it's catching up to them with this nine of wands leo sagittarius and aquarius is here some of you could be born on the ninth what's the burn of all the queen of swords some of you found out with the devil some of you realize this person might be like addicted to sex or something they're addicted to talking to people they're addicted to attention capricorn energy libra energy here somebody could be born on the 15th with the two of cups and a six of wands some of you i feel like you're moving away from a marriage or a commitment here there could be a child involved some of you are also going back to school, thinking about it or thinking about training for something and healing your broken heart and moving on. Yeah, you're ready to close out this cycle. You could be dealing with um, an Aquarius, a Leo, a Scorpio, a Taurus, a Cancer, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini. Yep, the King of Swords just showed up. This is the Queen of Swords divine counterpart. Let me see what his body language is looking like. Yeah. This this King of Swords, it could be an Aquarius. It doesn't have to be. The jury is still out. The jury is still out. And it literally says juror right there. Like he's on jury duty. So the jury is still out because the sword is going to the side. Um, and I feel like maybe with you as well. It feels like you want to release this person. You know you need to because it's this critical thinking. Okay. Definitely the Queen of Swords will cut you off. But the sword is up. But look at the, the cup. She's making a head over heart decision. So this is what you're operating from now. Your mind as opposed to your heart space for this person. It looks like you may have filed some divorce papers or something. You're moving on. This is leaving behind the trouble water. Releasing a, tru a trauma bond. I'm about to say a trouble bond. Yeah, the choppy waters are behind you. The storm is behind you. You're in the clear. This person likes to play in the, in the thunderstorm. You know what I'm saying? But you're moving on from it. Okay, y'all. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I will see you all the next time. Um, Probably Friday with a love reading. A dedicated love reading. Because this wasn't supposed to be love. But that's what I'm seeing. Okay, y'all. Peace.